Greetings, my name is Penny Rue, and I serve as Vice President for Campus Life and Professor of Counseling here at Wake Forest. And I'm delighted you are joining us today for an online exploration of campus life today. As a person who has worked at universities for over 30 years, I've seen some generational shifts. My folks barely slowed the station wagon down as they dropped me off for college, calling out, see you at Thanksgiving. Today, our students enjoy closer relationships with family than ever before. Both students and their parents may think of each other as best friends, and many talk several times a day. Despite this close communication, watching this experience from the sidelines can feel impossibly removed. So we're here to give you a bird's eye view and share some perspectives and tips that can help you help them navigate this wondrous journey called college. We know that growth and development happen through a delicate balance of challenge and support. Too much challenge can result in feeling overwhelmed. Too much support can result in stagnation. So along with you, we try to get that balance just right so students can learn, grow, and thrive. But of course, there are hurdles. Students who are admitted to Wake are accustomed to being at the top of their class. They've now found themselves among classmates who are equally brilliant and talented. And it can be a bit of a blow to be average for the first time in their lives. In fact, the first C on a quiz can put them into a tailspin. Equally difficult for some is adjusting to the amount of unstructured time they have as university students. They have roughly half the amount of class time they had in high school, less structured out of class activities, and no one telling them when to eat or go to bed. Some students thrive, others drift. Intellectually, your student will be challenged by the needs for a different mode of learning. They may be frustrated by the absence of a right answer and the necessity to analyze and synthesize rather than memorize and restate. They may struggle to find their way to their own opinion, their own analysis of a problem. And even the most sophisticated ones are likely to be interacting with a broader range of people than they've ever encountered before. It can be a bit overwhelming at first as they realize that not all of the values, religious practices, and priorities that they hold are universally shared. Emotionally, they're in closer quarters than ever before, and it can feel like a pressure cooker from time to time. So with all of these challenges and you on the sidelines, that's where we come in. Campus Life is a team of dedicated professionals who are here to help your son or daughter, stepchild or grandchild, make the most of their college experience outside of the classroom. We accept that making mistakes and testing limits is a normal part of the college experience. In fact, the most powerful lessons usually come in the form of mistakes. We provide responsibility and opportunities for ownership over student life. We respond swiftly to critical incidents to help keep students on their feet. We provide confidential pastoral and clinical counseling services. We hold students accountable for their behavior so that they can learn from their missteps. We let them work off their stress and form friendships through a wide array of recreational activities. We help them on their spiritual journey and we help them identify personally meaningful forms of community and international service. We've got a highly professional student health service and a student-run emergency response service. And we work with peer leaders in nearly every aspect of our work. We're here to help students find their niche. Now, back to you. There may be nothing more exciting at this point in life than being needed by your son or daughter. You still have a job, and you will get one of those panic calls sooner or later. The challenge is identifying the right form of help at the right time, neither too much nor too little, neither too soon nor too late. Like me, I'm sure that you want a family member to graduate from Wake Forest as a strong, confident, resilient young adult. The best way I know to help them do just that is to mobilize their self-care and resourcefulness when they hit a rough patch. Have you talked to your RA about that? I wonder where on campus you can get advice about that. 
I bet they have tutoring for that course. Your roommate doesn't have to be your best friend. How can you meet some others? I think a good night's sleep might help. By believing in their ability to navigate these hurdles, with a little gentle steering, you reinforce their growing confidence. There's no more powerful message of love and caring that you could send at this time of life. I hope you get to enjoy the journey too. You deserve it. Mm -hmm.